Hi guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, today was going to be a vlog about the future of my channel and what I'm going to be doing going forward, but I've got sidetracked again um, because I had a few days away. I uh, went to Brighton, enjoyed it there, right by the seafront, had a good time there, went to the old arcades, lost a few money on the old one arm bandits, but I uh, had a good time. But I did pick up a few bits when I was down there, so I'm going to show you them. Also, I've got something from Arrow. Arrow are now doing an offer like once a week, I think it is, where they take like at least 50% off a title. And um, I picked up something on there. I never, I never heard, I never heard of the films that I got, um, but apparently meant to be quite good. So I took a chance on that. And then today I was out and about, and I picked up a few films from the charity shop. Went into Computer Exchange, more than didn't really have much. Went into the Catch Protection, saw these three films, and I thought, you know what, I love some of them, and I picked them up. But I'm going to start off with um, some soundtracks that I picked up when I was down in Brighton. So um, these are the ones that I got. So I got the Deliverance soundtrack. Um, two things I remember about this film. I think two things a lot of people remember about this film. One is where he plays the banjo, has the banjo off, uh, with the kid. Um, and then the other one is um, the scene down by the river where you're going to squirrel like a pig. Um, that still <laughs> That that was traumatic. When the first time I saw that, I couldn't quite believe it. Um, but yeah, so I've got the soundtrack to that. And um, it's got the banjo jewel in there as well, which is really, really good. Picked up Rollerball. Um, I, just, I saw this one and I thought, Do you know what? I, even, I just like it really for the artwork on there. So I've got that as well. And it's got some nice artwork on the back. Um, got Death Wish 2. Um, originally, I thought it was Death Wish 1. Don't ask me why I didn't see the 2 there. But I've got Death Wish uh, 2 soundtrack. And again, I liked it because of the bottom of it there. You see... It's got some nice little details of the map and the gun there. And then my favourite, one of my favourite films of all time, I got the soundtrack to The Warriors. Um, so I was really happy with this one. And the reason why I was very happy about this, I'm just going to show it to you quickly. On the back, you've got the scene where you've got all the warriors where they're walking through the city. But also when you open it up, that's what you've got on the inside. So I was more than happy with that. Um, they didn't have any prices on them. Um, so I, 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 and I, because it was an independent secondhand shop, I didn't have time to take my phone out and look around. So I said to the guy, you know, what, what's the price on these? And he went, oh, you know, like 10 or each. And I was like, oh, all right, all right, what deal can you do me for all of them? And he said, oh, you know, give me, give me 30 quid. And I was like, yeah, all right, mate, there you go, bang. So um, I got them. I, you know, I was happy with them. Um, been playing them today. Not a scratch on them. Not a scratch on them because they seem to be all original presses as well. Um, but then I went into a, another shop, um, which was, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. It was in the lanes they have down there. And they had um, a sale on. So I picked up two albums that were on sale and a third one that wasn't. First one I got was Lost in um, Translation. I really, really like this film. Um, Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray just work so well in this. And the soundtrack's quite decent on there, actually. The soundtrack was good. I quite like that. So that was like £15 from £25. So I thought I loved that. And then, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember the music to this, um, Ghost of Mars. Um, but again, that was 24, reduced to 16. But it is a limited edition Red Planet vinyl. I haven't opened it up yet and I haven't played it. I'll play that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I thought, you know what? I'll take a chance on that because I quite like the artwork on the front of that as well. And then I picked up at full price this was, and this was a double album um, from the film Let the Right One In. So I've got that in there. And that was, um, that was like 24 pounds. I thought that was quite a good price. I'm sure it was like 24, 25 pounds for a double album. Um, so I thought I'd have that actually. Um, so yeah, I've got that. That was quite good. Um, my mistake, it's not a double album. It's a gate sleeve, um, but it's just one album in there. Um, and then I was in a um, a shop that's at the end of Brighton, and I can't remember now. I think it's Hokey Cokey. I think it's Hokey Cokey. I could be wrong. Um, AJ and Matt know the shop because I sent them a picture um, as I was outside of it. And um, I was in there and looking around, but there's just like so many stacks of movies. And that. Like, I said to the guy, have you got any steel books? And he had them behind his counter. So he said to me, yeah, yeah, have a look at these. So I had a little look through them. And one thing I picked up... <laughs> I got this, um, which is the Avatar, but it was sealed and it's got um, the survival guide and cards in there. I haven't opened this up yet. Now, I did a while back get just the Blu-ray version, but I think, I can't remember my YouTube, I think it was John Fitzpatrick. I think it was John, or it might have been Jesse. It was either John, I'm sure it was either John or Jesse said to me, uh, Jesse Aston or um, uh, John Fitzpatrick said to me, oh, I've got this copy, but it's got the survival guide with it and that popped in my head when I was there and I was like oh is it worth getting and then um, it had 15 pounds on it and I thought do you know what it's in really good condition it's brand new it's sealed it's got everything on there I thought I'd get it and then I can resell the other one for six or seven pounds 
But then one of my one of my favourite films, which is just pure popcorn. It's not going to change the world. It's not meant to. It's totally bonkers. Is Crank. Jason Stratham. I love this film. It's a it's a film that you can just put on and forget about all the things that are going on in the world or in your life and just enjoy it. It's not meant to change the world, but it is bloody good fun. And uh, there are scenes in this that crack me up. Even Crank 2, I think, is fantastic. Um, and when I got home, I did actually see if I could find a still book to Crank 2, but I don't think there is one. Let me know if I'm wrong on that one, because I will be trying to get it. But, um, yeah, so I got this. He done both of them. I mean, this was eight. This was um, 15, so it should have been 23. I think he'd done me a deal for, like, £18 pounds on both of them. So I thought, you know what, bang, I'll have it. Um, and then this was the one I got from Arrow which was um, Female Prisoner, Scorpion, the complete collection. So I think I paid, I think I paid 20, 19 99 for this, and it was 44 99 or something like that. Um, but I got that from Arrow. Um, I might do an unboxing this because it'll probably look quite nice on the inside. Um, but it's, it's a tale of revenge, I think it is. And so um, I'm going to have a little look at this because there's five films on here. So I'll have a little look at this uh, at some stage. And um, yeah, I thought for twenty for nineteen ninety nine, I can't go too far wrong. Um, so I'll have a look at that, and I may do an unboxing of that. And then when I was out today, went to the charity shop, and um, they had some Blu-rays in there. And I don't really buy a lot of Amorays anymore. Um, I remember when, pardon me, um, Poundland were doing them as well, and I'd, I'd go to car boot sales and I'd just buy loads and loads of Amorays, and I ended up giving them to charity because I, they were just taking up so much space. But I was in um, the Cats Protection Society and they had these for a pound each. So I got Pacific Room, which has got um, the, uh, oh, what do they call it? Lenticular. Oh, bloody hell. Lenticular slip on there still. So I thought I'd have that. I've still got the Titans, but I don't think the Titans one actually has the 3D Blu-ray in there. So I thought I'd have that. Um, I've never, ever seen this film. I've never seen it. Need for Speed 3D. Um, I just thought I'd get that for you know it was 75p so i thought i'd have that and then i remember watching this one and again um it, it had the lenticular on there and um it was 75p so i thought i'd have that um so they were my pickups that i got recently um i don't think there's anything else if i remember correctly having a look around he says yeah so that was it um as i said my vlog today was going to be on the future of my channel basically going forward guys um, I'm just going to be very, very limited in what I buy. Anyway, guys, and also in this vlog, I'm actually sitting down for the first time. I stand up a lot in my vlogs and I decided to change that today. Um, so, yeah, so that's it, guys. Any questions, as I said, let me know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on my next vlog.